Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Thursday, September 26, 2013. This is Texan TV News from the campus of Tarleton State University in Stephenville, Texas, and I am Kira Johnson. In today's headlines, Tarleton signs agreement with Ecuadorian University, 44th Annual Cowboy Capital PRCA Rodeo held in Stephenville, Senator John Cornyn louds Cruz but won't support government shutdown, Son slays mother and brother, mall attack in Nairobi, Kenya, Rangers win again to keep pace in wild card race. Lamar Odom turns to Twitter. In campus news, according to Tarleton's media relations, Tarleton and Karchi State University in Ecuador have signed a memo of understanding calling for joint academic activities, student and faculty exchanges, and joint research during a lunch at Trogdon House yesterday. This is a wonderful occasion, stated Do Tarleton President Dr. Dottavio at the signing ceremony. Dottavio also stressed the importance of having partnerships outside of the U.S., particularly this specific partnership. A seven-member delegation from the Ecuadorian University, including Jorge Humberto Bolaños, the vice president, are on campus this week for tours, meetings with faculty, and consultation with Tarleton officials. Dr. Ali Saleh, associate director of Tarleton's Texas Institute for Applied Environmental Research, said, the school, one of the newest universities in Ecuador, is looking for partnerships with other universities in the U.S. and Europe in order to optimize the teaching and research activities in their institute. In Stephenville news, according to Cowboy Capital PRCA Rodeo, their 44th annual rodeo will be held as part of Rodeo Heritage Week at Lone Star Arena. There's sure to be a cavalcade of top-notch cowboys and cowgirls competing the entire weekend for their share of the $45,000 prize money. The excitement kicks off at 7 p.m. tomorrow evening and will continue into the night. The rodeo action starts once again Saturday evening at 7 p.m. But don't rush off after the last bull has bucked. You'll want to stay after both the Friday and Saturday performances have ended for the live Dancing in the Dirt Texas Music Concert featuring Will Hobbs and the Crop Dusters. And for those who can't attend the nighttime performances, there will be a final matinee performance on Sunday. It starts at 2 p.m. For more information, please contact the Stephenville Chamber of Commerce or Lone Star Arena. And now, today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. In state news, Senator Ted Cruz spent all night Tuesday night providing the Austin audience with a remarkable 21-hour performance, according to fellow Senator John Cornyn. Cruz attempted this filibuster to keep Senate Democrats from stripping the White House-backed health care law from an emergency spending measure that funds the government. A success for Cruz could have provoked a government shutdown when the current budget runs out next week. Senator Cornyn told reporters after the 21-hour filibuster from Cruz that he remains committed to defunding Obamacare and also committed to avoiding a government shutdown. Cornyn hinted a shutdown would benefit Democrats while failing to stop funding Obamacare. In national news, 16-year-old Adrian Navarro Canales was arrested in a food court on the Las Vegas Strip. Navarro Canales is accused of stabbing his mother and brother on September 17th. His mother, Elvira Canales Gomez, was stabbed multiple times and found with a butcher knife in her chest. Cesar Navarro was stabbed once in the chest and was found in the bathtub. Canales Gomez's niece and boyfriend requested that police go to the apartment once on Wednesday, September 18th, and twice that Thursday. They finally entered on Friday and found the bodies. The niece described Navarro Canales as antisocial and upset that he lived in the United States, wanting to move back to Mexico. She also said he played a lot of video games, which would explain his location when he was found next to the MGM Grand Resort with the video arcade located inside. In international news, a mall was attacked by gunmen in Nairobi, Kenya. Al-Shabaab, the Somali Islamic extremist group which carried out the attack, said yesterday that foreigners were a legitimate target and confirmed witness accounts that gunmen separated Muslims from other people and let the Muslims go free. The others were gunned down or taken hostage. A gaping hole in the mall's roof was caused by Kenyan soldiers who fired grenades inside, knocking out a support column. It is said that the soldiers fired to distract a terrorist sniper so hostages could be evacuated. The current death toll is 67 and is likely to climb with uncounted bodies remaining in the wreckage of the mall. Another 175 people were injured, including more than 60 who remain hospitalized. At least 18 foreigners were among those killed. Though Kenya's foreign minister earlier said that two or three American citizens may have been involved in the attack, a Western official said that after checking passport and refugee databases, there is not yet an indication of any Americans being involved. In sports news, according to the Associated Press, the Texas Rangers beat the Houston Astros by a score of 7-3 last night to keep pace in a hotly contested wildcard race. 
Ricky left-hander Martin Perez struck out eight over seven innings of work, and outfielder Leonis Martin hit a three-run double, and Ian Kinsler homered in the game, helping Texas overcome an early 3-1 deficit. The loss for the Astros marked their 12th in, in a row and 108th on the season. The Rangers finished this season with series with, Hust of, with Houston with a record of 17-2. and two. The Rangers remain one game behind Cleveland for the second wildcard spot, and with only four games left in the regular season, the series against the Los Angeles Angels proves to be vital for the Rangers to make a playoff appearance. In entertainment news, Lamar Odom and Khloe Kardashian have been having marital problems. The family has stayed fairly quiet until Tuesday night when Odom addressed an extended tweet to his father stating, He wasn't there to raise me. He was absent all my life due to his own demons. My mother and grandmother raised me. Queens raised me. He also credits that the Kardashian family are, and I quote, the only ones that have been consistently there for me during this dark time. Odom, who was a Los Angeles Laker, is a free agent, yet to sign with the team and camps open next week. And according to the Weather Channel, we should expect a high of 94 with a low of 64. Texan TV News is a product of the Texan News Service. Find us on Facebook and Twitter and visit our website at texannews.net for all of your latest news, sports, lifestyle, and entertainment. I'm Kira Johnson from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.